Hello, 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 trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today on Trans Surfing TV, takes my breath away. This is um, this is a topic, an idea, a concept that I speak to in my Becoming Magnetic course. I sort of reserved like my best, best, best stuff for these courses, but I really want. I really want you to take away from watching my videos that which is going to help you create just a little bit better of a reality for yourself starting today because obviously that's why we're here right you are investing your time in watching my videos which I greatly appreciate and I want you to take from these lessons as much as you possibly can that is going to help you exponentially improve your layer of reality. So today, this concept, this is really about the power of love, the power of resonating with the frequency of love. And I don't mean romantic love here. And this is going to be like a new, I don't know, maybe you already know this, maybe you don't, but for me, when I discovered this or I had these insights, it was pretty mind-blowing to me that just resonating with the frequency of love and going out into my world holding this frequency and emitting this to the people that I encounter, the animals I encounter, the situations that I encounter, it is absolutely breathtaking. It blows me away at how effective doing this practice is in creating a layer of reality that is pretty fucking awesome. I mean, there's no other way to put it. And I do this, I don't wanna say that I do this in, a, in an extreme way all of the time, but when I do find myself in a position to remember to do this and kind of turn it into a game, it's amazing what happens. I mean, when you go into your layer of reality just with the intention that you are going to pump as much love into your external environment as possible, the response that you get back, again, mesmerizing and again i'm not talking about romantic love and you don't even necessarily have to say anything or do anything it's just putting this out into the world so i'm going to go through top, um, some of my top little you know tips and tricks and things that i do to help me tune to this frequency this love frequency and pump that energy into my external environment and then reap the benefits because the benefits are wild before i get started though remember to like this video comment below and subscribe to this channel your subscription is greatly appreciated my courses reality 2.0 mo money and becoming magnetic down below the facebook group the international transferring institute facebook group and follow me on instagram okay so resonating with love resonating with love for me is kind of like throwing out, casting a wide net, and it attracts to me all different kinds of things. Opportunities to make money. I know that sounds a little bit shady, <laughs> but I'll get more into it in a second. Opportunities to make money, opportunities to go on adventures, obviously making friends, meeting new people, encountering high frequency events and and things that are things that are going to make up my layer of reality the set and decorations where i feel as though i am living in an optimal state an optimal layer of reality so tuning and this is my first point that i want to make number one tuning to the power of love. So as I suggest in my Becoming Magnetic course, at the end of the course, I challenge everyone to that day or the next day, really tune to the power of love, tune to the frequency of love. And when 
when you know you step out into your day in the morning or whenever you go out of the house to really make certain that this is in your mind right that this is in your mind that you don't forget it and one of my one of my points here that i'm going to make is a little bit of a challenge for you to commit to doing this for an entire day just once to see what happens so when you tune to the power of love this is removing all judgment. This is removing all criticism of others. This is tuning out of what it is you don't like, tuning out of what it is that you don't like within people. This is acknowledging that virtually every word and every action from anyone that you encounter is a request for love. It is, in my opinion, the most powerful energy and force that we can tune into. And when we do step out into our world and really pay attention to this frequency and make certain that not only we are emitting this in our very words, actions, thoughts, all this stuff, that we're tuning in to people's need for it as well. When you do this, when I do this, it is like a freaking magic trick. I feel as though I'm, act I'm, I'm really like, bewitching my reality. People start to open doors for me. People start to offer me things complimentary. People want to engage with me. Strangers want to walk up and talk to me. Now, I'm not doing anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not acting in a different way. I'm simply tuned to that frequency for myself and tuned into the need for love from others. So two, and this is what I suggest to you, commit to a single day to do this. Okay, so what does that look like exactly? Tuning your frequency to love, getting yourself in that place, and I will give you a couple little tips after this one, but getting yourself into that place where you're really resonating with the energy of love. And like I said, stepping out of your house in the morning with the commitment and the intention that you're gonna run with this throughout your day and that you're not gonna break it. So like you go into a coffee shop and you order a cup of coffee with your exchange with the barista or whoever's helping you, the first person that you encounter, tune to this frequency within your exchange, make eye contact, really look at the person, see the person, see their need for love, extend to them the energy of love, Again, you're not going to say anything. You're not going to be like, I love you or give them a hug or anything like that. It's just your thoughts and your frequency. And you will, you will be surprised, I, I think. Once you encounter someone that is receiving this, which almost all people do, because all people have a need for love, it's amazing. People are just like a sponge. They'll, they'll sense this in you. They'll want to engage with you further. You will get back more of that energy. And then throughout your day, you will see what happens as it transpires. It just snowballs. And by the end of your day, and this is what happens to me when I remember to do this or I set the intention to do this, I've had some pretty high quality encounters with people and feel as though... I'm pretty on top of my shit and I'm on top of the world and I'm a loving human being and I'm encountering loving human beings and I'm, I'm kind of like bringing it with the energy, right? So commit to doing this for one single day and try to not break it. And I'll give you a couple more points on it shortly of how to stay with that energy throughout your day because this is really, really pertinent. So three, First, before you go into that day, really kind of repeat this mantra to, to yourself. I love myself, I love the people in my life, and I love my reality. 
tuning your frequency to all that which you love in your reality and making that your focal point your 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 what you're tuning into what you're broadcasting and repeating this to yourself right i love myself i love the people in my life i love others and i love my reality just tuning to that alone is going to sort of set the stage it'll be your foundation for then going out into your world and actually pumping this energy into your external environment. Four, I'm coming up with a self-love challenge, but for the sake of this video, I would suggest that for a week, if you wanna do this like in tandem with stepping out into your reality and doing this thing of committing to emitting love throughout your day, but like for a solid week, every single day, throw in one new act of self-love really dive into loving yourself in a way that's pretty extreme for you be anomalous with it and this is going to help you again to really start resonating with the frequency of love so it's easier for you to carry out into your external environment when you want to go and play this love game right because that's kind of what it is okay so this gets me to my fifth point and this is really, I don't want, I, I hate to use the word important, but it is important because it's valuable rather. I'll say valuable. Okay, so this is, this is my fifth point that I'd like to make. And this is really one of the most valuable points that I'm going to make for you tuning in to love, emitting love, and then obviously reaping the benefits and the rewards that come back to you as a product of participating with your external environment at this level. This is some high level stuff. So the one thing that'll kind of mess you up is if you don't get back what it is that you're putting out, a lot of times, and this was my sort of challenge with this when I first started this, I actually committed to doing this for an extended period of time while I was building my Becoming Magnetic course because I just wanted to see what would happen. But what, what did happen, what did transpire initially is... I would go out into the world and I would be at this high frequency, emitting this love, emitting this energy. I'd have some good encounters with people and then some asshole, right, would come into my layer of reality and not match my actions or my frequency. And it would cause a disruption to that flow of energy. And it would oftentimes just break it. Now, it took me only a few times of doing this or encountering this to realize what was happening. And this was one of the major insights that I've had about becoming magnetic and love is that once we encounter something negative, a negative person, some criticism, uh, something coming in our direction that is not of the frequency of love, we close, right? It's like, okay, shut the gates, close the doors, lock the doors. And this is why a lot of people are kind of like stuck in a place of not really loving themselves, maybe finding flaws and faults in others too frequently, having a lot of disruption in their reality from a lack of this love energy and encountering you know the opposite is because when you go into the world with a loving with a loving way about you and then you encounter something that is against that it can be a moment where you maybe feel like it's unsafe to do that or you've got to retract that energy or you made a mistake and maybe you're being naive and you shouldn't go into the world with this sort of loving energy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Make a commitment to bring it regardless, to bring it no matter what. Remember, as I originally said in the beginning of this video, 
view every single person's actions and their, their, their words as a need for love. So the dude that comes into your layer of reality that's acting like a dick, he's actually in need of your love energy more than anyone else, more than anyone else. So if you can crack this code. I mean, I actually, call, I have a term for this. It's called hater flipping. Um, I do it more with people online, like leaving comments and stuff. I have this thing where if somebody comes to me with a really hateful comment, I just continue to have dialogue with them that's like super loving and very like positive. And then I, I flip them, <laughs> hater flip. But you can hater flip in your real layer of reality too. So like maybe you go into a government office and the woman's being a bitch and she's throwing you attitude. View that as a perfect opportunity to extend loving energy and loving frequency towards her. When you can alter another human being via the frequency of love, oh my God, you are a witch. You are a witch or a wizard and you are indeed creating your own layer of reality. I have hater flipped in ways that have been absolutely mind blowing to me. <laughs> I've had people, and I talk about this in my course, where like I've gone into places just like what I'm talking about, and some woman's angry and she's saying something to me, and she's, you know, obviously doesn't like me for whatever reason. She's got some sort of account, some sort of negative thoughts about something about me that she's projected, and I'm like, okay, game on, game on. And by the end of the exchange, she's like getting up out of her desk, walking around to like give me a hug and we're best buds. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing what you can do with the energy of love. Okay, so run through them real quick. Tune into the power of love. Two, commit to a single day of emitting love. Three, prep yourself. I love myself. I love others and I love my reality. Self-love challenge. Challenge yourself to act in new and higher loving ways to yourself. This is just going to help you resonate more and more and more. And then five, don't stop because of other conflicting energy. Don't retract. Don't shoot yourself in the foot because you're not acknowledging that the dick is actually asking for some love and positive energy, bring it to them. And even if they don't shift, do what you can, move on to the next, but don't, don't create an environment where you're like, nah, I'm not doing it right or this isn't working because it will work. And once you can get into the habit of doing this habitually, oh my God, it's super fun. In fact, it's morning here now when I'm filming this. I'm going to go and do this with the rest of my day today and see what my reality brings me, what sort of pleasures and rewards and bonuses. So with that, what do you think, you guys? Do you do this? Do you think it works? Are you willing to try? Comment below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye, y'all.